Good evening and salam Ibu Pertiwiku. Hong Kong citizens have snapped up about 200 apartments in the past two months at a sprawling housing development in Malaysia, a sign that some Hong Kongers are looking for homes elsewhere due to the political volatility at home. The latest purchases will nearly double the number of apartments held by Hong Kong residents in the $100 billion forest city developed by China's Country Garden Holdings Limited on the southern tip of Malaysia. Real estate agents expect Malaysia and Thailand to benefit the most from some Hong Kong residents' frustration of the second bout of lengthy anti-government demonstrations in five years. Bruce Lee, a consultant for VBC Asia Pacific and an agent for Forest City, said the purchases were being made by Hong Kong citizens who wanted to live in Malaysia, not as investments. News outlets reported this week that a Malaysian program to attract foreigners to live in the country had drawn 251 applications from Hong Kong residents this year, compared with 193 approved last year. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif said Tehran may act unpredictably in response to the United States' unpredictable policies under U.S. President Donald Trump. Javad Zarif said in a speech at the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute that mutual unpredictability will lead to chaos. President Trump cannot expect to be unpredictable and expect others to be predictable. He added Gulf Arabs cannot achieve security in the region by spending billions of dollars on purchasing Western weapons and that no amount of foreign military presence in the Gulf can prevent insecurity. China has confirmed a worker at the UK's Hong Kong consulate has been detained at the border for allegedly violating the law. Media reports on Tuesday said Simon Chang, who is thought to be from Hong Kong, went missing on 8 August during a business trip. China's foreign ministry said Mr. Chang was detained at Shenzhen for 15 days. The UK said it was extremely concerned and the embassy in Beijing was providing support to his family. China said 28-year-old Mr. Chang had been detained for violating public security laws, although the foreign ministry gave no details of the alleged offense. BBC China correspondent Robin Brandt said the detention was short compared to many sentences in China and that Mr. Chang should be due for release in the next 48 hours. He said China insisted that the detention was not a diplomatic incident, but he said the Foreign Elf Office had likely been working out of the public spotlight over the last 13 years to find out what had happened to Mr. Chang and secure his release. Well, that's all the English news updates for today. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Razi Ahmad, signing off.